So, hello everybody. This is Sue Harper here. Um, <clears throat> believe it or not, we're still working on Dreams of Camelot. Now, I I have something to show you and a confession to make. I, I have actually <clears throat> done quite a bit of work on this without you. Sorry. <laughs> the, um, the leaves were done pretty much the same way as the fabric. Uh, wet into wet, uh, dropping in yellow colors, and then doing darks to lights, um, pulling out some of the highlights, um, then as it dried, accenting some of the shadow areas. And the rocks were something a little bit different, <clears throat> and um, forgive me for not taking you through the process, but... Sometimes I don't seem to do my best work when I'm trying to demonstrate something else. So I thought what I would do is show you what I did on a separate piece of paper and give you the, the technique that was used. Now here's a piece of paper that I've drawn a, a rock shape on. And this is good for uh, rocky soil um, or rocks uh, of any kind or granite, or anything like that. The, the only difference is that you would change the color. <clears throat> so what I did was I dropped some of my same colors that I've been using, the three colors, the quinacridone rose, phthalo blue, and sennelier yellow deep. And um, that's my base, my base colors. A lot of what's going to be done from now on is um, basically um dry brush work um i i, I and you it, one of the beautiful things about the rocks is um it doesn't have to be uh, a portrait <laughs> it doesn't have to look like the specific rock you can go ahead and let your imagination take over and um most of the rock that i did in this uh in this is just made up i have no picture of it I just uh, did the dry brush work, and, and when I saw places that looked like a depression or a crack, uh, that's what I put in. So you are free to do uh, just about anything you want with these with these rocks. So I'm, I put my base coat on, and it's dry. Now I'm going to start with... Um, combinations of those same three colors again. I think I'll um, add a little bit more blue to my um, my combination here <clears throat> because I want it to be, a, I'm going to put a different blue. I'm going to use some uh, uh, aquamarine blue and make that lavender a little bit bluer. And um, I'm also going to put a little bit more yellow in there because I want it to be more gray uh, than purple. How's that? All right. So now <clears throat> I'm going to take my brush and load it with uh, paint. And then I'm going to wipe off a lot of that paint because I want, uh, I don't want a whole lot of color. And I'm going to just scrumble, particularly in areas that I see are darker. And I'm touching very lightly. I want a little crack here. And this brush is actually holding a bit more water than I want. I'm going to take my damp brush, my almost dry brush, and uh, mark that. This is more what I want. This rather um, broken <clears throat> there's a make a little depression in here I want that to be a depression now when you do this on cold pressed paper you get this nice kind of rough texture which is perfect for stone and um, your brush is almost dry and you're just using it on the side and we have another another little depression here I'm gonna put in there
Okay, a little bit more water, a little bit more paint. Wipe it off. Okay, I got a little bit more water on it this time because I want the color a little darker. And go ahead and skip spaces because the skipping the spaces is going to be your little, um, little pebbly spots. We'll see what I mean when we get there. All right, now I'm gonna switch over to a brush that <clears throat> doesn't hold quite so much water and gives me a little bit more control. Here is a number two. All right, I'm gonna take some of that darker color and I'm gonna drop some of that in there just in certain places. So what I'm doing now is I'm, have you ever looked at a wooden door that had a wood grain on it and found all kinds of shapes in there? It's fun. Well, that's kind of what I'm doing. I scrumbled the paint and now where I see some of the patterns that it made, I'm going to accent those and uh, see what comes out of that. This is a whole lot of fun because you really aren't constrained by any particular shape. Um, and you can add, um, go ahead and add different colors in there, um, in the shadow areas. a little bit you're you're producing something that's realistic in a way but you're doing it in a manner that's really very abstract um, because there's no uh, nothing to copy n n no preconceived space that looks like a real dip and depression in the rock I'm gonna make it there um, Okay, yeah, and you would do pretty much the same kind of thing up here. There, we've got some little spaces that look interesting. A little bit more scrumbling, leaving those higher places where the sun has caught the rock on the high spots. Put in a little bit different color here. I'm just going to do a small section of this. I want a little yellow in there. I want to put a little, whoops, a little bit too much yellow. Oh well, there's a gold vein in there. <laughs> since this is just playing around anyway.
so it's time consuming. But, um, and then, and then you'll find little places like, okay. There's a crack. And there's another one. There's a crack. Cracks. Cracks in the, in the stone. Okay. And then those make little areas that you can uh, continue to um, scrumble in and make higher spots. put a more defined cracks there and don't make them all the same density of color some of the cracks go deeper in some places and they're lighter in others. So I'm just gonna use that and then continue to make your shadow areas a little darker. There, now basically you can continue with that situation and you've got rocks, granite, um, and like I said, it's it's very therapeutic. I'm hurrying through this because I don't want this video to be a half hour long. But um, then you can see you just you just keep going, doing whatever you want, adding what a, what other colors you would like to add, and um, and then you can do washes on the whole thing when it's done. Um, Want a little bit more pink in this one area here, scrumble a little pink in there. Uh, I want that to be lighter. Okay, I see a, a, a little bit deeper depression here. I'm gonna add some blue in that area. Okay. So there you go. And that's how I made the rocks. And uh, have fun with that. I'd practice it a little bit on a scratch piece of paper first. And then go ahead and start adding uh, all kinds of things in there that you would like to add. Different colors. Um, little pebbles, little rocks, tiny cracks. Have fun with it. See you later.